All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So I'm just basically going to call this podcast, Why Do You Keep Getting Dumped or Ghosted? I'm not sure. I may actually add both. If you know anything about me, I try to help men. I call it working from the outside in, building confidence uh, when it comes to relationships, fitness, hygiene, uh, wardrobe, and things in that nature. And I've been going back and forth with some different clients and some different emails and comments on YouTube and my podcast. And it seems like, and this goes for men and women, that a lot of them get dumped. And I get it. I'm telling you right now. I don't think, I can't say I've been dumped a lot throughout my life, but I remember back in high school kind of getting dumped. And it's kind of heartbreaking here and there. And I was really young. And I I always wonder, like, at a very young age, you know, I got like somebody dipped on me. I mean, I'm talking real young, like early teens. And then they went with someone else who was older and I felt like betrayed like anybody else would and embarrassed and all that stuff. And I think that actually kind of changed my, my whole lifestyle to kind of putting up a wall to a certain degree. But I also learned that I stayed friends with that girl and she was an older girl in high school, much older cheerleader. And then she went on the college and I wasn't an asshole to her. And then I ended up in high school actually hanging out with her and her college friends, a bunch of beautiful girls, and then partying with them. And I ended up uh, just, you know, it was, it ended up working out very well for me later down the road. So it was quite interesting that that, I, that had two impacts on me. One is it made me, I think, uh, kind of protect myself and say, wow, you know, like you're going to have to, pro- you're going to probably go through this again in your life. I wasn't stupid. And I was around a lot of women anyways, especially just in general, just my lifestyle, even including with my father and just traveling and living in Florida and uh, living in Chicago, both places, being around a lot of women and stuff. Uh, but it was kind of interesting because her personality was so cool. And she even helped me later in high school uh, do some things when I got on homecoming court and stuff. And like I said, she was in college. She was already a couple of years older than me. And um, learning how to be friends with somebody. And I'm like, wow, I, even though it didn't work out then, I ended up hanging out with her later uh, and with her friends. So, and then she introduced me to more people. I think she just really got a kick out of me. And then I kind of caught up with her because I was always littler than her and younger than her. And before you know it now, and then when I hit my twenties and we would meet up in the city, then it was a whole different thing. Then I was kind of a whole different, I guess, identity, which she really liked and thought was really cool. And I I still liked her too. And then all of a sudden she went from like a small little local girl when she was kind of very popular before. In the small world of high school, she was very popular. Then all of a sudden in the big city of Chicago, she was kind of like, nobody really knew her, but it was, it was an interesting dynamic. And the reason I'm kind of talking about this regarding getting dumped, I didn't mean to get that long winded on it though. But I think a lot of people have to acknowledge if you're getting dumped and I've discussed this before, that most of the time it's on you. Whatever you're doing and whatever signals you're sending out, it's bad a lot of times, or it's just not jiving. Now, if you got, if you were with somebody for many, many years and you got dumped, that's brutal. That's just, I get, that's heartbreaking. And, you know, even if you've been, you know, engaged or married, got a divorce or you, an engagement got called off because I've had that happen to my family members, very shocking. Uh, I've had, you know, I've gone through divorce myself, usually through a divorce, somebody's going to be hurt more than the other, right? It's kind of obvious. Very few times do, you know, both walk away happy. Uh, but just getting dumped in general is hard. But the thing is, and I talk about this a lot regarding many things is you got to fail forward. You just got to keep moving forward. You have to. And a lot of times getting dumped may be the best thing for you. (laughs) And I know that sounds horrible when you're getting dumped because you think that person was the only one for you and maybe you thought you'd be with that person forever, but you really don't have control on what other people do. I don't care who you are, maybe unless you make them a slave or something, but the reality is, at least in North America, we have our freedom to go do whatever we want to do. Even if we have kids with this person, uh, even if you're married to this person, you're engaged or you're in a relationship, they can dip on you at any moment. The reality, there's nothing you can really do. I mean, you could financially maybe go after them in different ways, but emotionally, good luck on that one, especially if they've left you for someone else. It's hard, man. It's hard. But if you, this podcast is more or less somebody who I wouldn't say is engaged or married or any of that. It's just younger people, I guess, or 
it should be any age, where you just keep getting dumped and you don't know why. And I think one of the things I would recommend is, and this sounds crazy, is whatever you're doing, I'd recommend kind of doing the opposite. Because whatever you're doing is not working. It's kind of like insanity. So if you are dating a lot, maybe you should date less. When you're, maybe when the places you're going to or with the person you're dating or when you're going out, maybe go somewhere different. Maybe just taking an entirely different approach when you're on a date or when starting a relationship that you did before. If you're very strict, then maybe be a little more loosey-goosey. If you're too loosey-goosey, maybe, you know, show a little more strictness, I guess you could say, or uh, whatever the hell's going on. And I talk about this a lot, is experimenting. If you're somebody who's getting dumped a lot, it is time to really figure out why and how you're going to figure that out is by experimenting and really kind of concentrating on your self-awareness. Because I don't think most people, especially when first dating, really even think about themselves. I think they're constantly judging whoever they're with. Uh, judging, is this the right type of person for me? Uh, what type of money does this person have? What type of career? Do they do drugs? Do they do? And, and I get it. You have to think about all those things. But you become very judgy. But on the other side, you don't even realize that you may be the person constantly judging them. So that may be a vibe you're sending off. You also may be somebody who I think sometimes, and I've seen this with dating, with people dating, is you don't show enough interest maybe in the person too, as much as you think. You're kind of playing it too cool or like you don't give a shit when, or you don't get hurt. And if it doesn't work out, who cares? You know, we both go our own ways. When the truth is you are, you are going to end up hurt. You really do like this person. You don't throw it out on the table and say, listen, you know, you're taking an honest approach and say, listen, I'm ready to take things maybe to the next level. Or um, maybe this also, you have to understand that you may be in a position, I should say, as time goes on, not realizing that you've dumped others or how you've treated others. I think a lot of us just think about how someone else treated us or what they've done to us. But a lot of times, like you may have dated somebody for a certain amount of time and just been like, you may have ghosted them. You may have hurt their feelings. You may have cheated on them. You have probably done things yourself that have probably not always been the coolest because I don't think anybody goes unscathed. And the people that sit around and go, oh, no, I'm great. I'm, a, I'm a, If you think you're a perfect person, especially when you're going out on dates, you're not, in my opinion. And the quicker people realize that, you know, I call them the interrogators on dates or when dating people. They just take everything so goddamn serious. And it starts to bog you down. You know, or, you know, there's... A, there's something too I learned a lot of times when it comes to men and women. There's, there's kind of a sweet spot there where you need to make it fun. You need to make it interesting. You know, you need to understand a lot of times that, you know, each other's core values, they got to line up to a certain degree. You can't be somebody who's a Christian and then dating somebody who's maybe doing things that you don't find acceptable. And on the flip side, you know, you may be somebody who's very, you know, a party animal does all this crazy shit. And then you're dating somebody who's trying to bog you down with all these rules and kind of make you feel like what you're doing is wrong all the time. It's got to work, right? It's got to work. And I am going to wrap it up with this. I, just the truth of the matter is if you keep getting dumped is you are not, I think, a lot of times finding the right type of person because you're not putting yourself in the right place to find them. It's, it's more than just, you know, I get a lot of times they go on social media or, you you know, you meet people that way or you go on apps or you go on dating websites and you're looking at all the, the things that they, and you're trying to line all that shit up and make sure it works out well. But man, it's, it's really just, one is also, you know, finding the right person not only takes time, but it may take more than dating one person at a time. Most people I know that get dumped a lot, they almost go from one person to the next and they're almost afraid to be seen dating other people or becoming friends with multiple people. But I think you just have to expand. You really do because if you keep going with one and you keep getting dumped, either 
back on you. But if you decided to date a few people, that doesn't mean having sex with them. I think that's where people get confused when I say you should go on dates or meet other people in, in, in other environments. It doesn't mean you have to have sex with all these people. But if you are somebody who's getting dumped, you may be like, hey, you know what? I've always been interested in this type of guy who does this. Let me kind of hang out in these type of areas and meet them and do some things like that. You also may be like, you know, I like this type of guy too. Let me go kind of do this as well and hang out with this type of crowd. And then you may even be like, you know what? I'm normally this type of person who likes this type of man. But the more you kind of expand, you'll start to learn who you truly are and what you're gravitating towards most. Because I think a lot of times you don't even realize a lot of the things you're doing or people you're dating are very similar. And then after a while, if they keep dumping you, something is not jiving. The chemistry is not there. Maybe you don't even realize that you're just not that into this type of person and you're sending out that vibe. You also may be afraid to maybe start dating the type of people you're truly interested in. And you're going to have to break out of that or at least go experiment, I believe. So anyways, just want to do a podcast on this because I've been helping a lot of dudes regarding this stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up. You can also find my program uh, on richtralinza.com or masteringselfconfidence.com. And if, even if you Google my name, there's tons of stuff out there. But I really, truly try helping men more than anything um, get through a lot of things. And uh, even my program is called Mastering Self-Confidence. The blueprint to trying to find the woman, well, the blueprint to finding the woman of your dreams, even if you've been through a bad breakup or divorce, because let's face it, no matter who you are, most likely you're going to have a breakup. Most likely you're going to get dumped or you're going to dump somebody. You're going to get cheated on. Things are not going to always go the way you uh, the way you thought or the way you thought planned, I guess you could say. So, all right. Take care and I wish you nothing but the best.